Hey everyone, it's Rochelle with Losing It on Keto. And in this video, what I'm going to make is um, something I have tried to replicate since uh, a facsimile of one of my favorite, my brother's and my favorite uh, sad diet um, meals, which was um, chicken pitas with the rice aroni chicken rice. And I have, like I said, I have tried for six years to make this keto and not now, not just keto, but protein sparing modified fast. And I have nailed it and I want to share this with you. So I, um, as a prep, the key to this, well, there's multiple keys, but one key was being able to make a protein sparing modified fast pita. And I made that in the prior video. Um, I've since had that. It worked beautifully. I want to show you that. And then, of course, the other key part of this was coming up with the chicken rice, which I have a video um, uh, previously on that. And so I'm going to apply that here. So I'm going to put this all together as a PSMF meal, and I'm going to walk you through it. So first, I'm going to put the skillet on medium-high heat. And... I'm going to add to the skillet one teaspoon of avocado oil. Because what I first need to do is I need to cook the chicken. So in this container here, I have weighed out four ounces of boneless, skinless uh, chicken breast. So to this oil, I'm going to add some garlic powder. And then I'm going to add some salt and pepper. We'll mix that all around. We'll let that keep uh, heating up. And now this should look familiar. Um, I referenced this in a recent video of how I use my electric grater called the Chew to rice my carnivore, um, to make my carnivore, to turn my carnivore rice into, uh, you know, uh, a, a mixture that resembles rice. So this is, you know, primarily egg whites and gelatin. So I have my serving of that here. So we're going to make that after we um, make the pita. So I'm going to go ahead, get rid of this rice here. I'm going to get a plate. And then let me get a spatula. Okay, and now I'm going to add the chicken. And given these are so, um, you know, uh, small, I've cut them up small, they will... Um, cook up pretty quickly.
Okay, while these are cooking, then the other rice ingredients I have, I've got a half a cup of chicken stock right here. I have my mock chicken seasoning that I have a video on. And I've got a little bit of glucomannan powder to, to thicken up the, the chicken stock. So I don't need this anymore. I'll put this away. And then I was never a fan of a tzatziki sauce. So what my brother and I would do as our topping is we would do a ranch dressing. So my preferred one is chosen. Uh, ranch, so I'm going to use this. While that's finishing up, I've got my pitas, and that recipe, if you recall, yielded eight. So I've got them stored here in this resealable bag. So this is what I'm going to use as my, as my pita. And it's been a day since I've made these. And I just want to show you, this is still fully, fully pliable, just like when I made it. So I'm really happy with how those came out. Okay, let's see. I think these should be done. Nah, needs another minute. Okay, chicken looks done. Doesn't take long at all, like I said. I'm actually going to turn this down to medium. Okay, I'm going to push this over to the side. Now I just want to heat up my pita, absorb some of that olive oil and, and garlic, salt, and pepper. So just won't take long at all here. If you want, you know, if you're not following a low-fat, low-carb, high-protein, you know, where, where fat is about 30 grams a day, then what we used to do is we would take olive oil and saute the pitas in that with the garlic, and that is fantastic. So if your macros allow for it, um, I'd suggest adding a little more oil and sauteing the pita in that for even more flavor. But for PSMF, this works just fine for me. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and add the chicken onto the pita. Okay, I'm going to take this out.
And then I'm going to prepare the, the quote-unquote rice. Okay, so we'll set that aside for a second. So now I will add the chicken stock. Once again, that was a half a cup. Then I'm going to add, this is about a quarter of a teaspoon of glucomannan powder. I'm going to sprinkle that in. Make sure you sprinkle that around because if you, you don't, it'll just clump. And you'll get like a gelatinous um, uh, clot, if you will, clump. Okay, now I'm going to add a tablespoon of the mock chicken seasoning. Like that seasoning pack you get in the um, raceroni. And I covered that in my uh, video on my mock uh, chicken rice aroni video. All right, you see how that nicely that thickened up? Now I'm going to go ahead and add the carnivore rice. And this is uh, a half a cup of the cooked quote unquote rice. I'm just going to saute this here to absorb that, that flavor. So while that's heating up, what I'm going to do is I'm going to top my pita, if everything's measured out, I'm going to top it with one tablespoon of this ranch dressing. I never cared for a tzatziki sauce. I don't like um, cucumber. So this is my adaptation um, for that, okay? All right, let's get these things out of the way, and we're ready to serve this up. I can put my pitas away. I bought these at Costco. They have all different sizes. I, I love it. Okay, we can get the seasoning out of the way. Add a little more salt and pepper to this. Okay. Let's give this a taste. I'm going to get my drink too. I've got my electrolyte drink here from LMNT. So you see, very, very pliable still. That is just bursting with flavor. So darn good. Now let's give the rice. <laughs> mm. 
Man, you guys, I am just killing it with my recipes, uh, with my PSMF way of eating. Ah, uh, that is so darn good. So darn close to the real thing. I choose this actually over the real thing because you have such a clean palate. Man, is this fantastic. I highly encourage you guys to, to make this. Mm, 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 mm. Fantastic. So that's all I got for you guys. <clears throat> so darn good. All right. Uh, that'll do it for this video. I'll uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.